As a child and adolescent psychiatrist, I come across a plethora of difficulties when we talk about exam stress. For example, my child is very lazy, is not studying enough, grades are falling, or parents might come and say, well, the school's actually picking up some difficulties with my child not being able to perform as well as they could do, and there might be a variety of reasons for that. Or it might be something a bit more concerning, like for example, my child is not eating or sleeping very well, I don't know why, because of this they're not able to perform very well. My child is taking exams way too seriously, or I'm taking my child's exams way too seriously, something that some parents might um, find difficult to express, but that does come across sometimes, uh, because Exams are something that affects the whole family as a unit. It's not that it's just affecting the child. It tends to affect us as parents. It tends to affect educators. And uh, we, 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 we hear a lot about how the whole family's life is put on hold because of exam stress. So particularly difficult to know when something's going wrong, something's not quite right. Particularly difficult to know when exactly to seek help. So, Google is there, of course, lots of information on Google about how to deal with things and that's wonderful, it's a wonderful source of information. I've written a few articles myself on exam stress, which have been well received, it's brilliant. But at what point do you also know when you need to seek specialist help?